Himisa. Himiko, search mode. Rosette's persona takes on a dramatically different form. She closes her eyes and concentrates, so it's pretty obvious that she's starting to search the area. Wow, it's amazing she has a persona that can be both search and fight. I have four readings heading towards Yasugami High and that tower. I think one of them is Labrys. I don't know about the other three. Huh? Labrys is here too? Mm-hmm. I can't communicate with her because the interference is so bad. But I'm pretty sure. Those other readings aren't shadows, right? They feel like persona users. One of them is strangely small, though. Uh, it's probably Koromaru. He's a dog. A dog? A dog can use a persona? How? Uh, I don't know. He just can't. Junpei-san, you seem... pretty vague. <laughs> about everything. <laughs> I feel like they're being really harsh without any hesitation. Three readings that Rosette doesn't know. If one of them is Koromaru, then the next one next to it must be Ken. And the last one should be Yukatan. I tell the two girls about the others. Set continues searching. Oh, there's someone near here. Naoto-kun. And Kanji? Kanji's reading is pretty weak, though. He might be injured. You can't communicate with them, right? If they're close, then should we go directly there to help them out? Yeah, but then we're putting a hold on rescuing Mitsuru-san and her team, aren't we? Right. So you two should hurry to where this Kanji-kun is. I'll keep heading to that tower. Based on what you said before, it sounds like my comrades are going that way after all. Okay. Oh, but... Oh, right. That would leave you two girls alone. Do you want me to go with you? I mean, if you really want me, I'll do it. Well, I'm suggesting that the two girls might want me around, just in case. Well, just in case, I notice they're both looking at me with blank expressions. Huh? What's going on? Did I say something weird? Junpei-san, are you going to be okay on your own? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you won't get lost? Oh. turned into something like a maze. Oh, that. Maybe they're the ones worried about me. I wonder how low their opinion of me is right now. Oh. Ah, I'll be fine. Maybe I don't look it, but I've got experience with stuff like this. Oh, okay. We'll go meet up with the others before heading to that tower. Please be careful, Junpei-san. With that, the two girls easily leave the food court. They didn't freak out over this bizarre situation at all, man. High school girls these days sure are tough. I pulled myself together and began rushing towards the Tartarus like tower. Ever since I became a shadow operative, this is the first time I've encountered an abnormal situation like this. Basically, the last time something like this happened to me was three years ago. While I'm running, I think back on what happened back then and I remember him. Don't you worry about me, man. I got this. Whenever I read lines like that, I must hold back the emotions. I must hold them back. Oh man. Okay, that was. Oh, I just jump in all the things. Oh. Oh. So we're going back in time, and we're gonna go see what Mitsuru is up to. And it, that's it. That's that's a bit odd, isn't it? So she gets captured then, then... Oh, she must be already been captured by then. Yeah, yeah, okay. Captive Queen. Mm -mm. So is she going to be talking to like a fake Shuji Kutsuki? telling you not to do They're a real pain, you know? Cripes, you never shut up, do you? Just shut up, you little shit. Shut up before I cut you down right now. I thought you called me because you needed me. You're the one who's getting impatient. Well, I'm going for a walk. Huh. That son of a bitch. I really am going to kill him sooner or later. Hey, switch with me. Sounds. No, voices. Two voices responding to each other. A conversation. I feel two presences nearby. My senses slowly return as I rise out of my unconsciousness. Before I can register the individual words being said, the conversation ends. I feel one of the presences in the room moving away. Looks like you're awake. I furrow my brow. 
The person standing before me has a different presence than either of the two I had sensed. A red-haired young man in a Yasugami High uniform? Did a child like him capture us? What have you done with the others? Let them go at once. So those are your first words after regaining consciousness. I don't think you understand your situation. I understand that I've been captured by some boorish people at the very least. We were ambushed in Inaba Pass. We made an utter mistake. The limousine was sent over the edge with us inside. And now I find us find myself here. My arms and legs are bound. Someone has taste in binding me like this. I recall a particularly loathsome memory from the past. This cross must be the cause of this immense sense of fatigue that I'm feeling in my entire body. I don't seem to be able to summon my persona, but... Who are you? Is this all you're doing? That was a pointless question. Even if it is, what are you going to do about it? Jump down off that cross and kill me? I look around at my surroundings. This place. The place where my companions had been captured and crucified in the past. The past where my beloved father met this unfortunate end. The top of the moon viewing tower. And this cross. Only one name comes to mind. Shuji Kutsuki. Is this... Revenge for him? Revenge. A pointless word. What do you think of the previous performance? It must have seemed like something from Ikutsuki's own mind. Performance? When we pursued Labrys and entered the TV world last time, a mastermind robbed Labrys of her freedom and spoke of his own evil scheme. That's right. His speech did resemble Ikutsuki's own mannerisms. That's why we narrowed our search for the culprit down to those related to the Ergo research and how we were able to gather more information. Don't worry. He's dead. Not just dead, but killed. <laughs> you must understand. You're a Kirijo. Are you trying to say that we killed him? But he was... <laughs> I hear something dripping right next to me. Crimson eyes shine coldly behind a golden mask. White and black liquid swirls ar about around its head. Is this a persona? Suddenly it slams the hilt of its sword into my abdomen. The blow sends my mind reeling, but I barely manage to retain consciousness. Ikutsuki doesn't matter. You're nothing but bait after all. What? I've shown them how you've been captured. How touching. Your comrades are gathering one after another. What are you after? What do you intend to do to my comrades? Huh. Even your calm, collected facade cracks when your little friends are involved. Don't worry. You'll all die together eventually. Not just you, but all life itself. <sighs> I will destroy this world. Everything will die. And this place will be reborn into a new world. His world. Where only one life remains. His world? Preposterous. I don't know how you intend to bring this about. But I won't let you create a world like that. I don't need your understanding. All I will do is grant a boy his wish. Boy? That's right. Doesn't it ring a bell, Kirijo? Your desires created that boy, and gave birth to me. What? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Minazuki. Sho Minazuki. I am the embodiment of your sins. Just take your time and wait. Sho Minazuki. That name was in the report I received from Kihuno. That's right. It was the name I saw in Shuji Kutsuki's experiment data. If I recall correctly, that experiment was... A number of the pieces to the puzzle fall into place for me. Uh, wait! I raise my voice as loud as I can to the boy, who has his back turned to me. Suddenly I'm struck with the sensation of something being drained from my body, and my vision blurs. I desperately try to cling to consciousness. I must escape this place and stop his plan. I won't let him destroy the world no matter what. 